Well, it has more ingredients than we normally like to use. This jerk chicken delivers a ton more flavor than almost anything. Today, you're gonna really dig this. And when I say flavor, I really mean flavor because there are so many aspects, so many different ingredients that, that, that come from all corners of the, I guess, kitchen to make this happen. There's sweet, there's sour, there's spicy habaneros, there's, there's everything. But we start by just throwing everything into the blender first. We start with four green onions or scallions if you're from the East Coast, chopped up, but you know, not pulverized yet because the blender will do that. Then we're gonna add fresh ginger and lots of fresh garlic. The spicy part today will be these, habanero peppers. So let's learn something. Heat, food heat, pepper heat specifically is measured on a scale referred to as the Scoville scale. A jalapeno, for example, it's a gorgeous, beautiful jalapeno, measures 2,500 to 8,000, I think it's units, on the Scoville scale. At its hottest, the jalapeno is about 8,000. Conversely, this little innocent looking cherubic fellow this ranges not between 2,500 and 8,000, but between 100,000 and 350,000 Scoville units. It's a ton hotter than the jalapeno. And people think jalapenos are hot. Oh no, this little guy, this little innocent child right here, that's the one. So we're gonna use two of them in here today. You're gonna like this. Well, I'll take off the little stems. I'll give them a quick chop. Careful. Now that they're in my fingers, I probably do not want to rub my eyes. These in. And then the rest of our stuff follows. And while you're here, Max, we can do this. So for our sweet, we've got about a quarter cup of brown sugar. Our other spices include allspice, about a teaspoon. And even though we have fresh ginger, we're going with the more traditional dried ginger, about a teaspoon. Same amount of thyme, dried, of course. Some cinnamon, of course a big pinch of kosher salt. And then our liquids. We've got lime juice, we've got lemon juice, we've got a little Worcestershire for that little acidy kick, maybe about a tablespoon quarter of a cup of uh, neutral oil. I forgot to throw in about a half of a yellow onion, diced up. And then we're gonna give it about a quarter cup of water and we blend. The lid goes on. And contact. Now, needless to say, you want this mixed really, really well because what you don't want is a giant bite of habanero when you're eating this. And when you're comfortable where it is, you pull off the lid, and there it is. Pretty innocent looking, but just filled with flavor. Literally filled with flavor. Get it in our chicken. So before we add the marinade to our chicken legs, our drumsticks, lovely little fellows, I wanna do this. I wanna take my knife and make just a few cuts that the marinade is gonna find its way into as they sit. So we'll take this, once we cut them, drop them in the bag. Continue along. In. This is just really making like more surface area that the marinade gets to work its magic on. Get rid of that fucking. Beautiful. And then we'll add our marinade like this. And before I seal the bag, just let me wash my hand. Start to seal, 
get most of the air out, finish it off, and then do this. And yes, I know I sat the bag on the cutting board where I cut the chicken and we're gonna be fine. When everybody's covered, this goes into the fridge for at least a couple hours and then we grill. So I'm just gonna keep back a little extra for brushing on while it's grilling. The rest of this will go into another bag of chicken that I've prepared. You don't need to see that. But you will see me once this is ready in a couple hours. And after a few hours of marinating, and then I took these out a half an hour ago because I don't like to cook them ice cold, we're ready for the grill. Let's make some jerk chicken legs. And down they go. That's the sizzle you want, folks. No question. That means all the right things are gonna happen. And I'm gonna try and confine them to one side that's the hot side because at some point I'm gonna move them over to the not hot side to finish cooking all the way through. The smell. I mean, honestly, you get like everything right here. The garlic, the ginger, the allspice. Oh, this is gonna be fantastic. Your goal at this point is getting good color on them, not letting them burn, keeping them moving. Once they start to develop some grill marks, then turn them, then turn them again, then turn them again. We keep these guys moving, they'll cook evenly, they'll stay tender and juicy and perfect. This is not the time to rush. This is the time for you to stay here, pay attention to the chicken. So get a cocktail, spark up a fatty, whatever your thing is, just hang out, take your time, let the magic happen. Because I promise you will be rewarded. Let's have a look. That, that little color, that's nice. They're gonna be gorgeous by the time we're done, but we don't have to rush it. So let's let them cook through slowly. Oh boy. Oh, that's hot. Yes. Yes. And don't worry, we're gonna baste. It's coming. It's coming. You know what? I don't like people that are oversharers on Instagram. Do I need to see like him and his fucking kids and on the beach doing like handstands and shit? I mean, fuck off with that. Oh, look. Ooh. Oh, fuck, it's annoying, man. It's fucking annoying. So, we continue, right? Now on their sides a little bit. Just really take your time here, folks. I cannot stress that enough. Once they get color all the way around, Beautifulness, we'll bring them over to this side to finish cooking more like they're in an oven. Just the ambient temperature of that area, the temp down, underneath. And... Wow. But so I'm telling you, here's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing this now is ready for a little basting. So let's go for it. Effing hot, man. All right, so now let's take these guys. We're going to move them onto the not hot side. I mean, look, there's a little heat under here, but it's way down low. And take a look at the colors now. This, this is what you really want. Now, this is American Idol. Stupid, 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 stupid. Wow. Wow. Check out how fantastic. And the smell. 
I live for the smell of beautifully cooking food. It makes me so happy. Look at the colors that are going on. So now that we've switched sides, literally sides of the grill and sides of the chicken, now a little bit more of this basting sauce. And just let the magic happen. Uh, look, I learned to cook chicken from my brother-in-law, Bob, in Toronto, Canada, in the winter with this much snow on the ground. And the process then is virtually the same as it is right here behind me. You take your time. You turn it a lot. You be loving with it. You don't rush it. Chicken skin will burn like that. And when you see blackened chicken, you imagine it's ready and you pull it off. And guess what? Most of the time, it's not ready. It's just, it's just f***ed up. Just burnt skin. That's not what we're doing here. We're relaxing. We're holding back. We're showing a little restraint. That's what we're doing. And you will, as I said, you'll be rewarded for your, your patience, for your efforts. Questions, anybody? Okay. Let's finish. Nice. See how we're doing. Oh, for goodness sakes. How are we doing? How are we doing? We're doing amazing is how we're doing. Whoa, baby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And look, we're aiming for, you know, like about 160-ish. They say it's 165 where you yank chicken. And um, I say if you pull it off at about 160, keep it loosely tented with foil, it will get to that final temperature. If you pull it off at 165, by the time you're eating, it's 170, one or two, and then it's overcooked. I don't want you to have that. Okay, ready to go. One last thing before I pull them off, a little kosher salt. Oh man, that's gonna... That's just going to do some really beautiful stuff to the flavors. And here we go. Hi, guys. Oh, my. If you could smell what I'm smelling right now, you'd be like, oh, holy sh that is incredible. So let's put it down, we cover it loosely with foil, and we leave it for five or 10 minutes until we can eat. And at the end of that time, off we, oh, come on. Look, I realize it looks like grilled chicken. So what's the big deal? Well, the big deal, folks, is the flavor. The big deal is everything this is gonna do for my taste buds. And what I like is I like the way nothing is burnt. I like the even coloring of everything. You know, sort of like all the way around. Oh, look at the beautiful. This is, this is what it's all about. And why? It's because we didn't cook it too hot. I need a bite of this. Damn, it's hot. I might need a fork to help me with this. Wow. It's... Wait. I want to, ow, darn it. <laughs> I just want to hold it for you and you can see how, okay, shit. Wait, I can do this. There. It's still hot as F. Oh my God. The flavor from that little, uh oh, the habanero. Look, jerk chicken is known for its spiciness. And, well, let's just find out. Mm. I'm going to be honest with you right now. Literally some of the best... I'm going to be honest with you right now. 
It's literally some of the best chicken I've ever made. And it's spicy. It's two habanero spicy. It, and I'm feeling the heat here and the heat here. But it's not overwhelming. I do not like to be overwhelmed with heat. I do not like to take a bite of something and then go <laughs> for the... <clears throat> <coughs> I do not like to take a bite of something and then go for the next 10 minutes. Uh, to me, that's not fun. But like a little lingering, lovely heat like this. Cooked perfect. Oh. Okay, this is just ridiculously silly. It's silly how damn good this is. The flavors are just like pff, all over the place. So I want you to make this. Imagine a chicken salad that this, that this would make. Imagine a quesadilla that this would make. Imagine just picking these damn things up and eating them with some rice. Look, it's from uh, Jamaica, like from fried plantains or whatever they have, but they got their shit going on. You have to make this. And by the way, you know what's coming up? July 4th. Who says it's got to be, you know, born and raised American style food? It doesn't. It's generally just outside food, and if I'm not mistaken, we're outside, and that's a grill, and this is what's supposed to happen. All right, thanks for hanging out. I could go on all day, but I just want to stand here and have these bites. See ya. Mm. Oh my God, you're gonna be so happy. I swear it.